All right, so this test is going to be for fibularis longus and brevis. Uh, the both of them go behind the medial malleolus, brevis in here into the metatarsal, uh, fifth metatarsal, and longus wraps around the bottom of the foot. However, because they go behind this malleolus, they both do plantar flexion, and then they're gonna bring the foot out, which we know as eversion. This is one of the examples of tests that people get wrong regularly, and that because it's running down here, they often do dorsiflexion, eversion, and sometimes you still see that tendon sticking out. So please don't get confused. We're looking for plantar flexion and eversion. Uh, on Adam, you can see the tendon right here for his brevis, and the longest tendon disappears underneath the foot. So with the foot off the table, what I'm looking for him to have no obstruction to do full plantar flexion and then evert the foot out. Don't expect a lot of eversion at this point. Um, so sometimes you don't think it's enough and then you actually lose some of that plantar flexion to do more eversion. So let's start one more time for more of a neutral. He's gonna plantar flex and evert, excellent. So I'm gonna change my stance a little bit here from a seated position. Again, what I'm gonna be trying to do is go up in this position and then I'm gonna to try to dorsiflex and invert him as he pushes down. I don't wanna compress the muscle, so just be aware of that. And whenever you're ready, don't let me move you. Five, four, three, two, and one, and relax, good. And I'm gonna start him off in more of a neutral position. He's gonna push down and out, good. So plantar flexion and eversion. Now for the length, I'm going to be, again, not worrying about the toes so much as I'm gonna push up and to dorsiflexion and then turn his foot into inversion. And here's the length for both longus and brevis, fibularis longus and brevis.